everybody, my name is Michelle. Welcome to the Art Club Online. Today, I'm going to be doing a craft that I did when I was a little girl. And I looked it up online, actually. I never found much about it at all, but I think it's called pin pricking. And what you do is you poke little holes in paper, and then when you put that in front of a little fake tea light, it looks really, really cool. So if you want to try, then all you will need is a pin or a toothpick or even a paper clip will work. Some paper, colored paper works best, and you need a dish cloth and a pencil to draw out your design. So let's try. Okay guys, so here I have my supplies that I need to do this craft, all right? So we're gonna actually be poking holes through paper. The best kind of paper is um, darker paper so construction paper works great uh, you can use white paper as well it just might not show up as much with the light shining through it so we're gonna be poking holes through the paper so what I have is I have a paper clip that would work um, I have a toothpick these will this will make um, bigger holes in the paper and I also have a tiny pin the pin is gonna make the smallest holes through the paper. So first you're going to put your paper on a flat surface so you can draw your design. And honestly, the more simple the design for this craft, the better. Because if your design is too complicated, it's maybe gonna just look like a blob once you, uh, once you make all the holes in the paper. All right, so my simple design is gonna be just a star because I figure that's something that looks nice with light shining around it. So I'm gonna just freehand a star here. So it probably won't be perfect. Try to make the sides as equal as I can. I like drawing stars freehand because then they look a little bit alive. In fact, I'm going to put a little face. <laughs> Cute little star. All right, so this is a very simple design. Then you're going to take just a regular dish towel, and I folded it in half uh, one, two, three times. You don't need it to be super thick, but you want it to be thick enough that you can just poke into it with the pin or the paper clip or the toothpick. All right, so here's my design. Now I'm gonna start poking out the design and I'm gonna use a toothpick first because this is gonna make the largest holes. So I'm gonna pin prick this whole thing. You have to be careful when you do this because if you poke holes too close to one another, it will just rip a line through the paper. So just like that. And then about, I don't know how far that would be, uh, a millimeter like that. And just poke all along the line. Just take your time. This takes quite a bit of patience, but it's really relaxing to do feels fun to pop through the paper. And it's good for your fine motor skills. Oh, I almost ripped the paper right there. Okay, so now for the eyes, I'm gonna go a little bit deeper with the toothpick to make the hole bigger. But I think I'll use the pin for the mouth because it's so much tinier. With the pin I can go much closer together because 
It's so, so tiny. So now we're gonna just do with the pin, or you can do it with the toothpick. Just be careful not to rip the paper. Um, I'm just gonna do random holes all around the star. I'm gonna do something now that you don't have to do, but I'm gonna do it because I think it will help with the outline. I'm gonna just poke in between all of the toothpick holes with the pin. Okay, so now I'm gonna go around again but this time, I'm going to be spacing out these holes a little bit further. Now I'm going to go around one more time just to add a few more. So here's the design, and if I pick it up, oh, start to see what happens when the light goes through it. So what we wanna do is turn it over, and you're gonna roll it. so that the edge goes over about a centimeter. And you're gonna take a piece of tape. Make sure it's even or it won't stand up. Put the tape on there. And now we have a little light shade. Let's see what it looks like in the dark. So I'm using an iPhone light in a closet <laughs> so that we can see what these look like. Here's the one I made. There's the star. Here it is on white paper. It still shows quite a bit, but I personally like the darker paper better. Black paper would be perfect. You can use one of those tea lights from the dollar store, but do not put actual fire underneath this paper lampshade, okay? Just for safety's sake, don't ever use it. Even over a bulb, it's probably not a good idea. But those little fake tea lights would work just great. So that's it for the pin pricking craft. And it's kind of a lampshade, I guess, that you do. But maybe you guys can come up with other ways of using this idea. I think you could probably make cards out of it. You could make it um, and put it in a picture frame as a gift. So show me what you got. Send in your ideas and your artwork to theartclubonline at gmail.com and I will see you guys next time. Woohoo!